Yo, what is up everyone? Um, or should I say action? I wanted to say action. I don't want to say live anymore. I just want to say action. Um, hello, hello, how are we? How's it going? How are we how's she cutting? Oh my god, that's such an Irish thing to say. Anyways, um I don't know when business coming, but hopefully she knows what she's doing <laughs> about to get here. Because this is actually a really confusing app. Or not an app like a website, it's really confusing. Um, but hopefully she knows how to stumble upon getting into it. But how's everyone doing today? How was your day? Hello. Hi Jenna, how are you? What book are you reading today actually? Heartstopper? Did you I think you, you bought the books. Are you gonna or, or did you get them? Hello! Oh my god, this is exciting. Um how's everyone doing? It's six o'clock for me right now. What tone, time zones are you in? I have not a notion. Uh, oh, I should tell you what book I'm reading. I'm reading From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armatrout, and I am on page 90. So as we know, my last live stream, I started this book and I got to, I think I got to page 70 that night, but I have read nothing. <laughs> like, it's actually a tragedy travesty like i travesty is that the right word tragedy i've read absolutely nothing it's not that i don't i'm not liking this book i think i'm in a reading slump which is just great that i'm doing this um whilst doing a reading slump i think i might edit in one of the sprints because i have like two videos and i need to edit them <laughs> and i just i'm procrastinating the shite out of them um i'm doing good that's good how's college going mine started this week did it start this week yeah it did going swimmingly i have to say swimmingly swimmingly i finished all the heart supper books i'm currently reading the cousins oh i've never heard of that book let me good read this um the cousins what's it about is it like a thriller i feel like it would be a thriller where there's like two possessed cousins no maybe definitely not maybe definitely not uh the cousins God, I just spelled dot wrong. Do you know when you um spell words so many times that their spelling like loses meaning? That's happened to me so many times. Oh my god, there's a lot of the cousins. There's like the cousins by Karen M. McMahonus, or there's Dark Witch, the co the cousins o Dwyer trilogy. <laughs> there's so many of the cousins. Holy shit. Um College is good, that's good. Um, yeah, college for me this week, it was good. I have like a shite ton of assignments. I have a little, um, I went on to, you know, going on to Google and I was like looking up college assignment sheet thing and it came up and I have it and it's actually pretty good. I have each like modules I'm doing and each assignment I have to do. And I'm doing this really cool module. It's like social media and society. And the thing is like, it's not actually, my module so psychology is like my actual module that I says in my records so I'm hoping <laughs> that because I sent in a thing saying yeah I don't want to do psychology anymore and oh my god I, I got into this whole ordeal I'm actually retarded I think um so this girl in the module the social media module she texts me saying, being like oh I have you switched this module I was like yeah but it's not called social media it's called like cultural studies and she's like are you mad that's not it at all i was like oh my god <laughs> i picked a module from when my college i'm going to basically like started maybe like in the 1900s i picked this module from back then so the people who were probably like looking through all the modules changes were like what is this girl on and on it that was a bad moment by me but we've rectified the problem so it's all good yes yeah, the one by karen oh let me have a quick look. Karen. It looks like a thriller. Horror. Let me go down as to. Oh, it's a mystery thriller. Mystery thriller. Cool. Millie. I'm just literally just reading the synopsis here. Anyways. Okay. That was good. Let me just see. Is Bisma having any problems? <laughs> okay. When do you want to do a reading sprint? 
you want to wait, maybe? Get settled in, maybe? Or do you want to bang it out right now? Hopefully, I'm, I'll probably keep looking at the screen in case Bismad just, like, pops up. But give me a go-ahead. Do you want to read right now? Or do you want to have a little chill sesh? Give me a yes or a no. That would be amazing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, what do you want to... Oh, yeah, I want to read. That's good. Do you want to do for... I have 25 minutes. Let me just share my screen. Sharing a screen is actually really weird. Can you see it? Oh, here yeah, you can. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to take down this. So for 25 minutes, are you ready to rumble? Okay, good. We're going to go right now. Oh my god. When I saw the timer, <laughs> I started reading Bush Business here. Wait, can we do this? Ooh. Oh, this looks so. <laughs> minutes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I was late. Oh, well, I have mine. Dorian. Oh, yes. Oh, is that classic? We don't like classic. Mm -hmm. here. We. We didn't like classics, and then we read two, and then we were like, maybe we could read about old white men. Just maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know. I, I kind of like it. Is it hard to read? I feel like classics are hard to read. I feel like, um, I feel like with classics, you should audiobook it. It's better to audiobook. I've never it's, done that. I feel like it comes better. I had the audiobook and then I ran out of time because I started reading too many romance books. So then I just was like, okay, this is going to be on the back. I getcha. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We should get the back to right now because I feel bad. We left or we have done. Is that 26 minutes? God, I can't do maths. Okay. Anyways, we're going to start again. Okay. Okay, we're going.
Oh my god, I, I hate the sound. <laughs> Oh my god. How much did you read? Did you read a lot? Oh my god, I forgot how hard it is to read classics. <laughs> and I hadn't picked it up in a while. So I had to like remind myself what happened. And then you know how you have to get into a mindset to read classics? Like you have to let yourself take your time <laughs> to read it. But I'm like back into it again, which is what I wanted. So I'm excited. I'm liking it, I think. What I feel like you? <laughs> you just like totally cut out there. I heard like robot sounds for like ten seconds. It cut me off. Or you couldn't hear me. Well, you're like you're like frozen. Oh, I am. I oh no, you're grand. You're grand. Wait. I hope it's not my internet. Am I good? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, you're good now. You're good now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, what happened? Okay. Um, Downhill. Did you hear anything I said? <laughs> or No. I'm not going to lie. Oh. I did not hear anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. I think her internet cut off, guys. Um... Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's like, it's just like disconnected. It must have been my internet. Whoops. That's bad. Yeah, Anyways, I was like, onwards. I was like, you left, and I was like, oh no. Do I have to run the show? I was like, I have no idea how to do it. Oh, I God. just peaced out. I don't know what's wrong with my internet. Uh, um, should I reconnect? No, I won't do that. Anyways, okay, proceed onwards. Um, yeah, I forgot how like I had to get back into it and used to how they talk, mm. which is because I haven't gotten into it in like a month, I think. So I had to like I still like okay. had to I had to get back into it, but I'm really liking it again. I think I think it's a good book. That's good. Yeah. That's good. But I forgot how hard it is to read classics. <laughs> I'm like, like I got it, and then I don't read it for a month, and then my brain is jumbled, and I'm like trying to concentrate so I can put <laughs> my attention to reading it. How many pages did you uh, manage to read? I think I read like ten or like twelve pages. Because I have to start again. What should I read? I think I read. I think I read eighteen pages. Mm -hmm. I think. What are you reading? From Blood Mash. <laughs> and our oh my god. You know what? Everybody has been telling me to read it. My sister especially. Everybody loves it. I'm so scared. Yeah. What is it bad? Um, it's so weird because like the two main characters who want to be love interests, they like got into straight away. But like they didn't they don't know who they each other are, but like they were like I mean like page twenty. We were into we were into some saucy bits, but like not really saucy bits. But like it just went full in and I was like, What is happening here? <laughs> Honestly, I'm like so always I love reading books like that because they incorporate like what I love in romance and like what I love in fantasy. So I like books like that. So maybe I will like it. I'm worried. Yeah, you probably you probably will like it. It's it's not reminding me of Sergei Mas, but like, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people. I don't know why. I think this is gonna be such a hot topic, but like, I feel like a lot of people say that, um, you know, like Sarah J. Mass is so like explicit and stuff, but I don't think so. Like she she did a little bit. Like she did a lot for YA, but once I started reading like more romance books, yeah. I was like. There's no way that you guys can think that this is the highest speed level that books go. Like, are you serious? Like, she yeah, even, I know, I know. She doesn't even explicitly say when like things are getting really steamy and what's going on. Like, you just have to interpret it. You have to be like, oh, this is what's happening. It's not like ever explicitly said. So I feel like I feel bad for people that don't have. And then you know, I get worried because you know, Sarah J. Mass's young adult audience is like a 
there's like a huge yeah, range. Yeah. There's like people that are very young, and then there's people that are older. So I'm yeah. like, I have looks for you, but I'm so worried <laughs> that I'm gonna give you the wrong. <laughs> and you're gonna get freaked out. It's like yeah, when I know. I have so many books to recommend, and I'm like, are you 12? Should I be recommending this to a 12 year old? Yeah, I think you should. Like, I would if my co- if I had a cousin who was like five. And they wanted to read Sarah J. Mass. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Young when you're <laughs> young when you're young. Learn when you're young. <laughs> right. Because listen, I grew up on what pad. So like I was reading stuff I was not supposed oh. to be reading. So oh. young. I was like 10. I was like 10 and I already knew everything. And it was so bad. It was like bad. Oh. And then <laughs> So then I feel like a hypocrite, you know? And I feel like anybody here who, like, has has read Wattpad knows exactly what I'm talking about. There is no PG rating. And you know what would be so funny to me? It would be like, this is, like, in the beginning of the book, it would be like, this is for 18-plus audiences. And I'm like, me knowing fully well that I'm, like, yeah. 14, I'm, like, reading I'm like, this does not matter to me. I'm a rebel. Oh, my God, rebel life over here. I'm a rebel. I like to read. And then, right? Now I think I was I think I might make a video of this, but I was like going back and reading my favorite Wattpad books and I was like, this is so bad. What the hell were you reading? Oh my god, you should do a video on that. That would be so interesting. I there was this one book that I really loved and it was about this girl who is mm-hmm. very rich, which I mm-hmm. I usually don't like books like that because I I, I don't know. But I just was like I, I read it and I remember that she was like really rich and she was engaged to this guy and it turned out that her stepsister had an affair with him <laughs> and they threw her off a boat is that incest is no, that like no, somewhat incest? incest no because it was oh like yeah i suppose they're not blood. i suppose yeah yeah they're not blood. And her, her fiance got with her stepsister so yeah they like threw her off the boat like a boat in the middle of like the atlantic <laughs> and they like threw her off the boat <laughs> and then um some like some italian what is the word is he a duke some italian like duke guy like saves her um yeah. and then she's like i'm gonna get revenge on them like are you gonna help me and for me what? i don't know about everybody else i was like that seems so promising you know like i love a good revenge book i love a good like <laughs> weird thing and then i read it again and i was like this is yeah. so bad she is like two-dimensional she has no yeah. She has nothing going for her except for her, like, revenge. And it was really bad. And it made me so sad. And then my sister was like, you know, you should look on the positive side. That means that you've improved your reading taste. But it just made me really sad. Yeah. I was like, this is I just can't, so I can't get over the bit that they just threw her off the boat. <laughs> so yeah. Funny. She was trying to confront them. <laughs> she was trying to confront yeah. them. So they were like, yeah, they, fuck you. <laughs> No, so they were like having an argument, and like I guess like the fiance was trying to convince her like to calm down, yeah. and somehow yeah, they yeah. ended up near the edge of the boat, which I would never. Oh, yeah. If I found anybody like cheating on me, doing something so bad, I would not confront you until we got off that boat because yeah. I'm not taking safe it. ground. <laughs> like I can swim, but that's the ocean. Like, are you kidding? How am I gonna? Yeah. How? Like, what if, oh my god, plot twist, like a shark came up and killed her, and just like, end of the book. Actually, that's not really a plot twist. <laughs> it's like page one, it's chapter one, and it's done. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And he throws her off, she it dies. Makes it makes me so sad, because I feel like the book had so much promise. Like, have you ever read a book that it's executed so poorly that you're like, can I take this idea, make it mine, and then publish it better? And then I'm like, that's, not, that's, just, that's just not how the world works, you know? I can't just somebody look yeah. and like, here's how you fix this. But <laughs> I, would never, I would never do that anyways. I'd probably make the book even worse. I'd be like, oh yeah, there was actually an alien invasion. They fell on the little boat they were on and they abducted everyone and now everyone's having alien babies like doesn't yeah. that sound like a great book <laughs> yeah okay, but it sounds better than what happened in the book by is it Ki- kiara Ki- kiara kiara is it any kiara kiara have a lovely dinner did i have a dinner i didn't have dinner but i had like a really filling lunch so i wasn't too hungry I didn't even have breakfast today. It's like 1 p.m. So I'm going to have lunch later. Oh God, you must be starving. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't think I am today. I'm usually really starving. But I think you could do a little intermittent I, fasting. 
Mm-hmm. Totally not intentional. I've just been busy all morning. Yeah, I get you. Were you doing school? Were you doing school work this morning? Yeah, I had oh, oh yeah, I had school. So usually I don't even eat that much for my breakfast, anyways, because you know when you wake up and it's cold, you don't want to do anything. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, I can't even because all I'm thinking about is how cold I am. So <laughs> that's why. Maybe you should like drink soup for breakfast. Get you warm. <laughs> you know that's such a yes. weird thing having soup for breakfast. Maybe like a soup hot slushy. Oh, yeah. no, that'd be grim. <laughs> yeah, that'd be like, grim. I'm just thinking about, like, uh, a blueberry, like, warm slushy. <laughs> that seems so gross. Oh, my oh, God, God, I love slushies um, in the movies, though. Like, going to the cinema, the main thing I do is I get a medi- medium, mini, I get mm-hmm. a, I think it's a medium slushy combo, where it comes with the slushy, the strawberry flavored slushy, and the popcorn. It is the best thing ever. Yeah. In New York, they're all everywhere. I can go, like, anywhere and get a slushie. Like, pizza stores, everywhere. I I try not to have them because, you know, um, they're so cold. And sometimes I'm just, like, I'm asking to get a sore throat. (laughs) So I try not to get them, but they're so good. When I get them, I always get the the blueberry ones, just my favorite. Hi, welcome back. I don't think I've ever had blueberry. I don't think I ever had. You should try it. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. Um, <laughs> welcome back to the show. <laughs> I feel like I didn't introduce you at all. Hello, everyone. This is Hey, it's Bisma. Go check Hi. her out. Give her some. Give her some love. Go Thank leave you. Hey comments. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I would imagine, love that. Any imagine everyone from this video is like, "Yeah, I hate you. Why are you making video?" <laughs> and this is from Sam's box. <laughs> Yeah, this is from her, and they're like, it's because you have weird tasted romance books. We hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really um, need to read more romance books. I have one right now. You have to read it. I was literally going to make a video, and I never like to make a video just, like, for one book. It has to be so yeah, yeah. good, you know? It has to be, like, fantastic. Top tier. Yeah, yeah. It has to be, like, and I read it. So, you know, for me... It's been a long while since I've had, like, a romance book really hit. Like, really yeah, yeah. hit. And just, like, I'm so invested. Like, I love these two people. I want yeah. their... Like, I will read 50 books about you. Just, like, give it to me. That type of book. I never get that yeah. way about romance. Like, for me, if I... I usually don't even read, like, romance yeah. series. I think they're so annoying. I'm like, whatever. Just give me the first book and be done with it. But with them, I'm like, I love it. So, it's called To Hate Adam Connor. And, oh, my God. It's about Adam this Connor. girl... Yeah, to hate Adam Connor. And it's about this girl who moves in with her best friend because the guy that she was dating just ups and leaves and, like, literally gets a new job in another, like, state. And he's like, okay, I'm leaving. Peace out. Um, The lease is going to be done in, like, a month, so you should move out and try to find somewhere else to live. So she's forced to, like, move in with her friend who's, like, a successful – well, there's a book. Like, there's one book before it, but I didn't read it. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to read it. Um. Mm. that basically she moves in with her best friend who um is an author and you know she's married to this like actor uh so they move in together uh with her Mm. friend so she's like moving in there until she gets her own place and everything and figures out what she wants to do so Mm. they move in and they have this neighbor um named adam connor and he recently recently just got a divorce and they have like oh. a baby. They have a kid. He's like, <laughs> he's like three or four. Um, I forgot how old, but he was like young. I think he might have been five actually. So he was pretty young. Um, and mm. so on the first day that they're there, like she moves in, right? So she goes, her and her friend, like they get on this ladder, um, in between the two houses, and they're and just, they like, die. Stopping them. Okay, <laughs> they don't um, die. Okay. No, but honestly, I was like, if it would have been me, I would have fallen off that ladder. Like, yeah. how are you up there? <laughs> How are you up there and you haven't been like falling off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so they, yeah, so they're like basically stalking him and they're like watching him and they're like, That's oh my cute. god, this is so attractive. Like, there's my sister, sorry. <laughs> but they're like, he's, like so attractive and like everything. Um, mm. And so, so then they like they try to. She's like, I'm not gonna do this again. Like they promise not to do it again. And then her best friend. They like, do it again her, tomorrow. <laughs> no, like then her best friend and no, her, 
<laughs> her best friend and her man like go on this trip for a work trip, right? So she's left alone in the house. So every day she's just like watching him and she's like, I promise I'm not. And she's like sending her friend pictures literally of her, him like, like <laughs> I remember, like, I forgot what it was. It was, like, him, like, pulling down his tie or something and just sending him all these pictures. It's just, like, her friend's, like, I, I thought we promised that we weren't going to do this. And she's, like, you promised. I didn't. So she's, like, continue This sounds to like going to go into, like, a thriller book. Like, she's going to actually kill him. <laughs> no, I promise. I promise. It's not as creepy as it sounds. Um, and then, right, um, one day um, she's, like, watching them. <laughs> Oh god, this is so weird. She's mm-hmm. watching them. And they like they left the son, the kid outside alone. And he's like putting he's trying to put on his floaties and like he doesn't put them on properly. And he gets in the pool, right? Yeah, and yeah. he almost drowns. So she's like, oh he shit. Dies. Okay. And just like drop, like so she like yeah, yeah. goes and saves the kid. And you know, uh oh, she's like he comes out. He comes out and he's she's like, she's like coming out like all heroic and shit, thinking like he's gonna be like so yeah, impressed. Yeah, yeah. Saving his son, and he literally, <laughs> he's like, "Who the fuck are you? Like, why are you here? Like, what are you doing?" And, um, and then he like, pushes her back into the water, and he drowns her. <laughs> I um, uh, he gets her Imagine arrested. Imagine really he like gets her that arrested. That sounds actually really good. On her. Yeah, he calls the police on her, and the book starts from there. Like, that's just the beginning of it, and then it just picks up from there. He calls, he calls the police on her after she. Rescue her, his son. Yes. Wow, that's, that's some weird uh, stuff right there. No, like he's. And then she's like, oh, you know, I. Oh, thank you. That is so like, <laughs> Oh, sounds good. Love that. You should when read I it. I need you to read it, and I need you. I need you to read it, and I need you to. And like talk to me about it. I loved it so much. Yeah, it sounds it sounds pretty good to be fair. Yeah, so they're like it's sounds like an enemy to lovers situation as it's really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calling on the police on them and then the last page on this really cute day. So they're in love. Got the progress. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. But that's so embarrassing. Like, if I was ever, you know, looking at a guy like that, and then I got caught, I would, like, go hibernate for the rest of my life. I'd be like, don't ever look at me again. That's so weird. <laughs> um, Do you want to do another reading sprint? Do you all oh, want to do reading sprints? The guys and the people watching this. We should oh, read them more. Oh, God, I have to reset. Yeah. I need to share my screen. Get the timer. <clears throat> I'm getting my voice. Can you see the screen? Oh, boys, we have the timer. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Enjoy reading, everyone. Read loads. Enjoy.
Okay. Cool. I feel like I'm not reading enough pages for the time we have. I know. I feel like it went by faster this time. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm. I'm literally. I could fall asleep if I was doing a sprint. I'd take a nap. <laughs> like the next time, I just might go to sleep. Oh my god. Um, how was your reading? How many pages did you read? I think I read like ten more pages. That's pretty it's, good. It's good. It's just my brain. <laughs> she slows down a little. Bit she's reading. Classic. I was thinking when I was reading the book um, that, um, what's it called? A Court of S Silver Flames. It's like coming out so soon and I'm so excited. But I haven't pre-ordered it. Oh, I'm so excited have you, too. Have you pre-ordered no. it? Honestly, I've been thinking about pre-ordering books, but ever since like COVID happened, I haven't been buying that many books. I've been buying like more used books instead. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so there's always so many good books in charity shops, I feel like. I miss going to thrift stores because mm. I used to find so many books there and I used to yeah. get them for like twenty five cents or a dollar and they were like really inexpensive. Yeah. And I always like pre orders are expensive sometimes, especially with like yeah. authors like that. Yeah, I was gonna pre order because um we're our lockdown. Like Eason's or like all the bookstores won't be open until like, I want to say April. It's definitely, they say March, but like March or April. So like, I can't go into bookstores, which is um shite. <laughs> Have you muted yourself? <laughs> I think you muted yourself. <laughs> you were like, I don't want to hear, I don't want anyone to hear me what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I was at a Barnes & Noble the other day, which is like the first time mm. I've been to a bookstore in so long. And it felt yeah, yeah. so weird because whenever I go to a book, like I feel like ever since COVID happened, I've started to love like used bookstores so much more. So I walked in there and there's yeah. like hardbacks for like $40. And I'm like, what? Like what has happened? What? To book? <laughs> like what has is, happened? Is that really? 40? Yeah. Oh my God. That's like... That's like a really, that's like a couple of clothes, pieces of clothing. Yeah. For one I could buy a whole outfit for that. Yeah, literally. You could buy like really good shoes. Well, maybe not. Shoes like these days, like good shoes are like 60 euro or more. Yeah. Jesus, that's so touchy though. That. Jesus. How's mm -hmm. everyone's reading going? How, um, how many pages did you read? Did you read anything? Did you just sit down and just, oh, I kept, I keep on thinking like, cause obviously we're doing this, our faces are here. What if someone wasn't reading at all and they were just staring at us reading? <laughs> they were just like looking at us like, I wonder what they do now. <laughs> I'm so boring, so they probably were really bored. <laughs> they were like, I wonder how long it took her to switch over the page. Why was she on that page for five minutes? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I was like, what if everybody thinks like I'm such a slow reader? And it's because my, I, you know, sometimes when I'm reading I, the classics, I have to go back and reread it to be like, what did this person just say? That happens to me. That happens to me. This book are you, almost, so are you almost done though? Or are you like just starting it? I'm like just starting it. I think I'm trying to make it, I'm almost halfway. I'm trying to read more of it because I feel like I keep putting it to the back and I really want to read it. But yeah. the only problem is that I feel like I should just audiobook it. But I haven't read a physical book in so long. I ebook, like I read on my phone so much. Yeah. And yeah. I listen to audiobooks. Like I just haven't read a physical book. So when you were like, let's do reading scripts, I was like, okay, I can finally read it. But I feel like I should yeah. just audiobook it instead. Nice. <gasps> I read page 201 of Throne of Glass. Oh my god! Are you liking hey, it? Who's, who's, your favorite, who's your favorite character right now? Who's your favorite character? Is it Selena? Is it Dorian? Is it Kale? You know, it might be Kale, you know? I love Kale, okay? okay. You're like the only you... person. Everyone hates him. Like, really? oh my god, I don't mind, I don't I mind him. Like, Dorian. I used to hate Dorian so much. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> well, I know why. I just like, I hated Dorian because I just thought that he was such a privileged 
kid like yeah. I felt like I could see that. even though even though like you know Kale was like a Duke son or something I still felt like yeah, he yeah. had more struggles than Dorian and then I feel like I, my love for Dorian came later on in the other books when we yeah, really, he really developed his character. Yeah, because at first I was like, "You're so boring. Like you're, like, I get it, you're a this prince, white but... privileged guy who just thinks he can have everything." <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I was really honestly, I feel like he never had a chance because Selena is too twisted to be with like Dorian. No offense, especially not like the first three books, Dorian. She cannot be with him. Yeah. Oh my god, I loved. I wish I can reread. I wish I could reread it for the first time. I feel like for like King of Ash reading for the first time. I would do a Court of Thorns and Roses if I could reread that without ever like knowing how. I have reread them so many times. I'm thinking (laughs) about rereading them because. I don't know. I just like get this thing. But you know, the thing about it is that then I'm like, like you could read other books. You have so many books that you need to read. You've already read them. But there's moments when yeah, I'll be yeah. on like, TikTok or Instagram and I'll see people talking about them reading it. And I'm like, I miss that. I miss being in that environment and being so in love yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I really want to read Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover? Honestly, I've never. I, I've seen her books around. I try to read a couple of her books, but I, I just personally I haven't liked them. I think I just don't vibe with her writing generally, just because well, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know what it is. I think it's just like I read them I get when I was younger. Yeah, yeah she, her the topics that are in them are really. So I, I think I read them when I was like 16, 15. And mm-hmm. at that age, I have five stars for everything. I loved everything. I literally finished her books in like days or like one day. But, like, if I read them now, I feel like I'd have a lot more opinions on them because some of the stuff that happened in the books were so dodgy. Mm-hmm. Like, so dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like as I get older, I can't excuse that anymore. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I can't excuse things like that. I And, like, as I've gotten older and I've un- understood, like, how misogyny can come in, like, different forms, I just can't yeah, yeah. accept books, like, like her books like now that I'm implying that all of her yeah. books have that but like, the type of like topics that she writes about there's there's a very hazy line between what's right and what's wrong so it's hard to yeah. read her books the one book I feel like I would still really love is I think it's called Slammed it's I think it was such an incredible book it was like her mom had I think her mom had cancer and oh my god it was or was it something else oh my god am i thinking about something else i have no idea i might be switching two books into one (laughs) but i remember really liking that book and i think that's the one book that didn't have a lot of problems in it like i think the book it ends with us that Mm -hmm. book is a a lot of warnings need to be um addressed before reading that book (laughs) yeah i just i don't know Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I get when I think because I know that some people like this is their favorite author, and I'm like, I don't want to hurt yeah. your feelings, but I just personally can't read books like that. I don't know. Yeah. It's so sad. I feel like because as I get older and I read more, I feel like I become more critical, which is why like I can't read yeah. after because I just feel like books like that just glorify toxic relationships, so I can never respect yeah. them. Because I know that her viewers and her audience is very young. Like, they're very yeah. young kids. Like, I don't want them to get into relationships where things like that happen. And it's like, oh, it's okay. if He's hot and he loves yeah. her. So, fine. And it's like, no, it's not. That's how people get into toxic relationships and they get abused. Like, and it's not okay. Yeah. And that's why whenever I see people, like, after is my favorite book. It's, like, so <laughs> sexy and good. And I'm like, have you read any other books? Like. Please let me save you. Yeah. And let me. Like, they read. They read after, and then after that, they read Fifty Shades of Grey, and then after that, I don't know what's some other really raunchy books. <laughs> I don't know which other one. Honestly, <laughs> That's what she know. The book is just like all they're known for is that you know, like I feel like yeah. the plot lines aren't there, the characters aren't there, and there's just like so much stuff going on in them that don't that doesn't need to happen. I just don't. Yeah, I still want to watch the movie though. The second movie, after, I, wa- I watched the first one. Yeah, I think it's after. I would like to watch the first one 
I was supposed to watch the first time because my friend loves it. And I, and I, you know, I sat down with her and I was like, so what happened was that I was, I was forced to read the book. So I read like the first book and then I was like, this is so problematic. Like, how are you, how are we allowing this? How are we allowing this author to make so much money? And then, you know, the fact that it's like based, like it's, it's Harry Styles fan fiction. I think it's so weird. Like, I think it's so weird because how are you basing this off of like a whole other man? <laughs> like, how are you? Yeah, I yeah, like, I, 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 I get that. I get that. I get that. Because I'm, I feel like I'm like. I mean, is I feel it, like she should be proud of herself, herself though. Like, is it yeah. is it considered like defamation? Like, I'm not saying that it is, but if oh, somebody like, wrote a book like that and I was such an yeah. asshole in the book, I would be like, I I don't want this. Author. I wonder if I he knows about this. It. Yeah, he does. I think somebody yeah. asked him. They See, were like, "Oh, are you going to go to the premiere or something?" And he was like, "No." <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. I I wonder if the don't. girl was there. Actually, I, I have no idea who's the person who made the book or like started it. I'm Anna Todd. Her name is Anna Todd, and then she published the books. So now they're out there. Like, oh, oh, they're yes. really bad. <laughs> Don't How old is she? Anna no Todd. I think she's. Let me see. Oh, did I spell this wrong? <laughs> yeah, the first thing that comes old. up, Anna Todd, it's just a like a teacup. <laughs> <Just, wait. laughs> oh, I guess Anna Todd, you're looking it's well. It's just like, oh, a line. Yeah. Of- Hold on, she's wait. very brave. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, she's like in her twenties, twenties, thirties, maybe. <laughs> hey, hey, after, you know, it's after it's her one, it's kind of movie that is entertaining because it's so bad. The second one's the same. I still need to watch. It's like, I'm gonna have to watch it legally. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell the police on me. I need to watch it legally. <laughs> okay. Um, keep watch it. it. They don't see this the money. <laughs> Yeah. Is it on no, was is it on Netflix? No. Oh yes, yes it is. It is on Netflix. Is it? <gasps> yes. Guys, I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> no. I hate I hate it so much. Oh my god. I get so like mad just because I don't know. We could make money and put money in like other movies. We don't need to put money here. Yeah. Yeah. After, but honestly, after, after life. is a shit show. Oh, the kissing shoot. booth. What are your thoughts on the kissing booth? Okay, so serious thoughts. <laughs> the first, I, I love. When I first right watched it, the first when I first watched it, I kind of, I really had a good time, like watching it. I think I had fun, even though, like now that if I watched it again, I'd be like, "This is so cringy." Like I'm gonna cry. And then I never watched the second one. Yeah. And then I didn't watch the third one because I think a lot of people told me how like cringy it was. So I I just I don't Oh know. yeah, I, I think I watched the second one recently actually. <coughs> yeah, honestly, I don't have it's anything honest. against it. I don't think it's as bad as after. Oh yeah, I I looked, it's not on it's the second one's not on Netflix, the first one is though. Yeah, watch it legally because it's so easy to find. I, I don't think. think. Yeah, the second one's not on Netflix. I just looked there. Oh, the second one is on Netflix, but I think on American Netflix. Yeah, it's not in probably not the UK one or the Ireland one, or maybe like EU. I don't know. There. Yeah, I'm, I don't think about it. Kissing Girl is like what other movies there? Oh, what do you think about to all the to all the boys I loved before one? Have you read the book? I haven't, I literally have the first book over there in my pile of books that I have to read. <laughs> um, Honestly, I, read for me, I read the first book and then I watched the movie and I really loved it. Like I had a really fun time. But yeah. then, but after that, I read the second book too, but I didn't love it as much as the first. But I think the movie did a really good job. Like I feel like a lot of people didn't like the movie, but I really liked the second movie of Twelve yeah. Books I Love Before. I feel like it did a better job than the book because in the book I was kind of bored 
Like, yeah, I feel yeah. Like the drama, like the drama that was happening, was so unnecessary. If that makes sense. I feel like the solution yeah. of the first book was handled in the first twenty pages, and I was just like, okay, well, we don't need <laughs> the this. First whole... twenty pages. <laughs> And then the third one, I didn't even read the third book. I'm just going to watch the movie because so far, I've actually really liked how Netflix has done it. So I'm having a good time. Yeah. When is it out, actually? Is it out this year or next year or maybe even 2050? I don't know why I'm thinking that. Um, I think it's coming out this summer, maybe. Oh, interesting. Like, I, I didn't mind the second movie. Like, it wasn't my favorite. Like, I have to say I was skipping a <laughs> part, so I'm just like skipping 10 seconds and then maybe like a minute gone past. I was like, yeah, I just keep on skipping. <laughs> I don't even For know me, why. It's I, not like I, I hated it. I don't, know. I don't think I hated it, but I get what you're saying. It just it didn't uphold as much as the first movie, I feel. Yeah, the first movie kind of was, it, it was good. <laughs> It kind of feels like I feel like the first movie for loads of stuff have, are good. Like, have you watched mm-hmm. the, Have you watched the Maze Runner? I haven't watched the Maze Runner, but I tried to read <gasps> the books and I hated them. Oh, the books are horrible. I swear yeah. they're describing a tree for so long. They're like, oh, this pine tree, lovely leaves coming out. I'm like, what do you mean? We're not on about a tree in the story. <laughs> I feel like I need to read it though. I I'm, no watch the movie because my friend is obsessed with it, and I really love like Dylan O'Brien. I think he's so cute. Dylan O'Brien, oh my god! I, he's done. He did a movie recently, or like last year, I want to say it was like a action movie. I didn't watch it, but I know he did one. I and I like want to watch it, but I can't remember the name of it, so I won't be able to watch it. <laughs> Oh, 100% the chairs. Cheers. I love him. Honestly, oh I, God. I, could I, lit- I could literally... Oh, my God. My internet is so shocking. Oh, my God. Anyways. I look your butt. Butt you- is very nice. Oh my God. Thank you. Shining. <laughs> Oh, we have Cassandra <laughs> Clares. I see it. Oh, I see. Do you see my shrine? Do you watch? My shrine. My shrine. To Cassandra Clare. What? Oh, you're. Did you just say a shrine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's oh, my is... shrine. It's, a... oh, it's my nice, though. It's a bit messy. I try to keep it. Oh. Is that Wicked King? I think that's Wicked King. Yeah. Wicked King. Uh-huh. And I'm just kind of Nice. And my candles. <laughs> That's it. Oh, love, love some candles. Have you read um how the King of Elf Flame learned hate stories? No, I need to. Yeah. I need to read it so bad. I want the physical copy, so I'm like waiting to order it because I don't want to read it. Um, I don't want to read it ebook because the whole point oh, is no, that no, no. the full experience is when you're um reading it because it's so beautiful. The illustrations are so beautiful. I know. I need to. I need to get the book. That's what needs to happen. Oh, it comes out early next week. month. Nice. What? Wait. That's is that March? March? No. Wait. What month is it? February. <laughs> yeah, in February. The thirteenth. About the shadow and bone coming out. Shadow and bone. I'm excited. It looks kind of cool. I know. It looks cool. Um, I've never read Shadow and Bone, but I've read every other book by her. I've read, oh, like... Oh, I read it. Did I read it? I didn't I think read I read it, it last I year. I feel like I just want the TV. I'm, I'm going to see if the TV show, like, is good. I'm going to read it. I'm, like, I'm going to watch it, and then I'll read the books if I really, really love it. Because yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit problematic, and I might just get frustrated. So I'm just going to watch the show and see if I like it. Wait, have yeah, you... Book- did you have... Obsession with uh, Wings Club? Did you ever have an obsession with Wings Club? With what? Wings Club? It's like a new TV series on Netflix. Wings Club. I've never Netflix. heard of it. Wings oh, Club. God, I want to show you. Let me show you. I think I've heard of. Wow. What's that one called? Finks, Wings, Fates. <laughs> yes, that one. It's based off of this. I... 
it's based off this like fairy show and i used to watch it when i was younger hold on i'm trying to like lower the brightness of my screen i used to be obsessed with it <laughs> it was like a cartoon not- show <laughs> oh no it's like your waist Love it. These are nice comments. I love how I'm wearing my brother's jumper, and then I'm wearing my dad's t-shirt, and I'm wearing my brother's pants. Oh, oh yes! I know them. Oh god. What happened to Sam? Hello? Hello? What is happening? Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, it's us again. She's on mute. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'm off mute now. I think Sarah's Wi Fi just crashed. But who's watched? Oh, there she is. I'm back! <laughs> This is like so chaotic. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like you were talking and I couldn't hear you. I was like, oh my god, this is bad. Yeah. Oh. Or did I mute myself? Did I mute myself? <gasps> she has this man. I didn't even know that. I wanna watch that TV series though. It looks good. Oh, I need to finish Gilmore Girls first. I'm so close to finishing. I'm on season season seven. So close. Do we like Wings? Should I watch it? Should I watch the new one? Let me know. Because my sister's watched it and she thinks that, you know, because she was a fan too. So it's kind of hard for me because I want them to do it in one way and I feel like it's completely different. But I feel mm-hmm. like I could, maybe I could put it aside and just watch it. Like, I feel like maybe I could put it aside and be like, yes, watch it. But I need people watch- to tell me. If it's good. Oh my God, you watched it all in one night. That is dedication now. That is real dedication i'm binging brooklyn 99 right now and it's so good oh my god my my oh. two guy friends are harassing me to read it to read it to watch it <laughs> watch brooklyn 99 it's so good i already binged i already binged it on my own and then i'm mm. re-watching it in anticipation for the new season with my sister and we're mm. loving it. And she she hates cop shows. Like, she doesn't really like them. But this one is an exception because it's so hilarious. It's so funny and yeah. so good. I love it. Oh. Have you watched Lucifer? I, okay, so for me, I watched the first season when it was coming on air on TV. And then, like, mm. and then we had to wait a year. We had to wait a year to find out what happened. Oh. And then. By then, no, like I had already no, forgotten no. everything, and then by the time it, it yeah, came yeah. on Netflix, it's been like a couple of years now. So now, like, mm. I need to go back and finish it because I loved it so much. It's so I need so, to watch. I literally, you should. I have to finish the last, not the last season, but the most recent season yet. I've like mm-hmm. watched a few episodes. Hello, Emma. Hi. How are you? I'm really obsessed with the show. <laughs> Honestly. I think I don't I think the only thing we do is watch shows. Like we don't read, we just watch shows. <laughs> like, there's what so many good I read at night on my phone and I just right now I'm in the middle of reading a party of two. Alice in Borderland I've never heard of that. I've never Oh yeah, that. I remember you telling me that. I watched the trailer and that's all uh, that's all I did. <laughs> I've never watched uh, it. What's it about? I'm so. Wait, well, yeah, I can't remember what's it about, actually. Emily, give us a little paragraph about what it's about. Thanks a million. <laughs> I'm still reading Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, and I'm dead inside. I am still. Where is the book gone? Have I lost the book? Oh my god, have I lost the book? <laughs> Where did I put it? <laughs> oh my god, no, it's here, I found it. <laughs> I'm still reading this. I'm on page oh 130 God. now. Uh, I need um, to read it. If you want to really buy it and read it so bad. You should buy it. You should buy it. You should buy it. Oh, I know. I'm buying the second book too. 
Um, I haven't bought this book yet, but I feel like I probably, oh, I don't know if I will, because I don't have a job right now, so I don't want to spend money when I don't have, I'm not getting money in. Do you know? <laughs> this is what you called peer pressure emma now you cannot be doing this peer pressure to bisma okay this is not acceptable <laughs> oh you know i saw emma from your story and then i went around the hole like looking at her page and i was like this is so aesthetically pleasing i was yeah. so obsessed her vlogs are so amazing oh my god she's a youtuber too Put yeah, me on to yeah didn't you know that you should no. watch her videos. <laughs> what happened was that I was like scrolling and I was like looking through her page and I was like, and I didn't look, and I was like, wow. Like, I was like half intimidated. I was like, wow, her page is so nice. And then, yeah, that's what happened. I should look closer. I need no, more. No, no, she's a book too She's really good though. She's flames. It's like a Japanese dystopian. It's like a retelling her opposite of Alice in Wonderland and, and it's so good. Okay, everyone watching this little live right now. Watch Alice in Wonderland on Netflix. Pronto. <gasps> no, this is the only time peer pressure is okay. <laughs> it really is though. Book peer pressure is the only acceptable peer pressure, I think. Mm-hmm. Unless they're pressuring you to be after, then I tell you to not. <laughs> yeah. I actually do want to read it. I've seen it in so many charity shops. I've seen that oh. book in 50, 50 Shades of Grey. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tempted to buy it. It's only like a euro. I should buy it. <laughs> okay. If it's gonna be like two dollars, if it's gonna be so like cheap, you should just do it. But I don't I know. Should, I don't want but I don't... To do it. It's such a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I could be reading like more like knowledgeable books, maybe from like Tony Robinson. He seemed like a really <clears throat> I don't know if you know him, but like he's a really like spiritual hard-working guy mm -hmm. so it'd probably be more beneficial me reading that book than after but anyways oh. see if emma agrees with me have i don't do it have i no not that she's great don't do it yourself <laughs> i should just do it to myself you know fuck no. it you know you only live once might as well read it might as well goddamn read it no, I can't. I remember when the movie came out, I watched the first 20 minutes, and then I got so cringed and creeped out that I didn't watch the movie. I was like, this is too gross. I'm not doing it. Has Have you watched, watched the movie? Um, what movie? Oh, I haven't watched that. Oh, it looks good. Um, three, three, six, five. Three, six, five. Mm -hmm. Oh, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> The cliffhanger at the end, though, that hurt so much. It was so good. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you what happened? Or okay, should I not? <laughs> Am I about to spoil no, you should, this you for should. everybody here? Oh, God. What um, a warning. Oh, my God. I just hit my hand off the computer. Warning, everyone, if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, mute yourself. No, not mute yourself. Put down the volume the whole way. <laughs> Okay, proceed oh onwards. Basically, what happens is that, like, they fall in love, but then she she realizes, like, that he's so messed up, so then they break up. Like, she's okay. alive. She's not dead, right? She's she's alive. Um, and so then Barely they break live. up and everything, and so she, she tries to get with somebody else, and he low-key tries to kill him, and that's what happens. <laughs> I know. That's all. So that's what happens. Literally, not yet. Not yeah. I, I should just do it for the laugh. Honestly, everything's for the jokes. Everything's just for the jokes. After is bad, bad, but low key yeah, entertaining. Entertaining. But I get too angry. Like I'm just sitting there, like, what is going on? Why? Are, why? Are <laughs> I don't care about the movie. It's fine. Oh, actually, Emma, there's this. Um, you should watch it. It's an Irish movie. It's I think it's called Pixie. I watched it. It came out in cinemas recently. It was so good. Like it was like at the first scene, there was a guy who got literally sh to God shot in the head. It was amazing. And they're on this little. They've like taken money, and there's these priests who are actually like low key drug drug dealers. It's an un unreal movie. <laughs> what is it so called? Good. That's 
so good. Um, it's called I think it's Pixie. Oh God, I hope it's called Pixie. And the people in it are like good looking. It's 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 good. It's a good time. Um, is it this one? I hope it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the okay. one. Okay, I'll try to watch it. It sounds really good. It's 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 so good. <gasps> and the Irish you, accents. If you like that, you're gonna love Money Heist. I loved Money. I Heist. know. It looks really good. I just I don't know. I'm just please, I'm just so bad with starting TV please, shows. Please, 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 please watch it. I remember I was binging it in the summertime. It was such a good. It's so good. I loved it so much. I still need to watch the new sis the system <laughs> the new season of um Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I need to watch that. I watched your video actually about like you know, you're basically like <laughs> trashing Riverdale and you're like how yeah. you Sabrina. I was like yes. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't. Yeah. I oh was god, just you're... talking about that. And then you have oh my god. She, she has Emma has like a life cut out um of Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be best it's friends. Right. This is crazy. Yeah, I love yeah, her. Probably are now. <laughs> probably are. Oh my god, I'll try it. Yeah, you should watch it. It's actually really good. And Emily, if you're watching this, you should always also watch it. Um, not the priest. No, it's the priest for me, honestly. They're wearing some funky ass masks too. It's like two gangs against each other. It was unreal. Unreal. There was some priests. Oh my god, it was unreal. I'm about to go sub to Bisma. Look, Bisma, you're getting some lovely free promotion over here. Oh my god. I'm not ashamed to say yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> <laughs> Why Riverdale is still Yeah, they have new oh. episodes of Riverdale out now every Thursday. Okay, but you can't keep killing Jughead off. It's, it's insane. <laughs> you can't just keep killing him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that show is weird. It's kind of weirding me out. What's your What's your Instagram handle? It's It's the Hey It's This Month. I try to keep everything with Hey It's This Month. Hey It's Oh my God. Hey, it's I don't know. I'm gonna write it down. So <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Look at you. You get to comment on your. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Hi, Sarah and Bisma. Love you. Wow, big fans. Big fans. Oh my god. Wait, look at this amazing comment. Oh my god. Who is this person? Oh my god. I wish that my name wasn't in it so it doesn't look weird. <laughs> I like Rachel. I think that it's good. Three seasons were good. Mm -hmm. I like, yes. We're the same. That's exactly what I. Th I think for me, the first season was good. Like I love murder yeah. mystery, so I was like, yeah. yes, like especially me, when they're like teenage or ones. Yes, they're like old um, men. After that, after that, with the cult and like all that extra shit going on, I was like, uh -uh. and the guy with the big ass like ghost head or something. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> when that happened, I was like, this show needs to be ended. We love yeah, you. It's like uh, sabrina's Hi. that show is so good it's so, good. so good so good if hbo max doesn't take it and doesn't make it another season i'm gonna be so upset i'm gonna be so upset because like loads of people will watch it that's the thing loads of people will watch it and, and see i don't i get like i know why netflix did it but it's like the difference between riverdale and sabrina is that sabrina all has over, an older audience you know it's not just from yeah, yeah. watching you it's also older people yeah. watching it. So I feel like it will be a better money move because you're getting such different audiences in general. Yeah. So I feel like it's dumb that they're not. I don't know. Honestly, Netflix needs to step up their game. About to make a fan page. Oh my god, a fan page of us together. <laughs> oh my god. Love to see it. Love to see it. I adore your Instagram. Oh my god. Ooh. Thank you. I think I have a new best friend. <laughs> I literally him. Yeah, I, I like him. I like Wasn't he with your one? Betty? Uh -huh. that's not, obviously, that's her, like, 
on like character name, but like he was with Betty, but then they broke up like yeah. in real life. Mm-hmm. That was quite sad. Yeah. I like them together. Me too. I think they were a really cute couple. I think you should watch Sabrina. Yeah. I think you're gonna like it a lot. I need to finish Gilmore Girls, and then I need to read, or not, why do we keep on saying read? I need to watch the after Gilmore Girls years, I don't know, there's some other thing that's going on. Mm -hmm. I need to watch that. I haven't haven't seen her screen. You should watch it, it's so good. So good. Especially, I feel like it's totally autumn vibes. Like, I wouldn't watch it during the summer now. I feel like that'd just be totally against, like, nature. (laughs) That I'm reading this show, or... Why do I keep on saying reading? Oh my god. Because <laughs> we're bookkeepers. Guys, this is just how we think. I literally thought I lost the book again, but it's here. <laughs> I'm reading from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armitrout. And Bisma, what are you reading today on this fine day of a I'm Friday? Today. It's so cold. I'm reading is it? A Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Please don't let me fool you to make you think that I'm so like so like cool. I'm so prestigious oh my god I'm not <laughs> but I'm reading it but I'm currently ebooking uh, A Party of Two by Jasmine Guillory I think I've been obsessed with reading like lawyer romance books recently because I might want to be a lawyer in the future so I've been obsessed <gasps> Oh my god I'm doing law in college I can tell you I can give you some things um actually no i'm I shit it. i am so shit <laughs> oh my god i'm doing mooting i don't know if it's it's like a lawyer thing like mooting um this mm-hmm. semester and i'm shitting myself because like we have to do like a video it's it's not a good time sarah you're out oh man my heart is broken should i just leave the stream now <laughs> just yeah, like you and emma <laughs> <laughs> i'll just be gone honestly <laughs> I'll just go. Oh Honestly, if it's too much, I'll just leave. <laughs> You're being a third oh, wheel. Sister, I was... I don't know. Yeah. No, you should still. It's fine. You know, you have two advocates here. Myself and Bisma are like, yes, you should watch it. Hi, we're the advocates for Sabrina. And we yeah, really advocates. We should be getting paid for this free promotion. Promotion. Oh, I swear. I, I told you how I was at Barnes & Noble the other day. Yeah, and yeah. I was at Barnes and Noble, and my friend was sitting down, and I just went on the shelf, and I was picking out all these books, just giving free advertisement, explaining what they were about, and I was like, "Damn, <laughs> I don't even get paid for this." Yo, you're like a marketing student or something. Wait, did they? Wait, did they? Oh my god. Oh, nice. I'm so curious for both of those books. Yes, you should read the book I am reading, and also read Dorian Gray, even though I will never read that book, but. Bisma likes it, you know, you should read it. It's good. It's good. Aha! From Blood and Edge. I mean, I'm, I'm not that far into it, so I don't, I can't say too much. But, like, it's pretty good so far, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, someone's died, though, and I liked him, and it's quite sad. I have not a clue. <laughs> I s- oh, my God, really? Nice. Cool. <clears throat> what year are you in? Are you in first year, second year? Fourth year, are you in a law firm? <laughs> Hi. How are you? Hello. We're not reading at all. I feel bad. I think I'm doing sprints on Sunday. I'm love. Oh my god! Yes. I will be there. I'll be there. Oh my god! That would be so much fun. Oh, so exciting. Oh, we should we should make a group chat or something. It will be so much fun. Yeah, because Emma's doing um, she does like weekend readathons like. I think every week she's doing it now, maybe. And she does like le- live reading sprints. Mm-hmm. Sorry, the food truck <laughs> is coming in so quick. Noises. Um, she's yeah. doing them like every week, I think. And that's real fun. Oh, I know what you I'm mean. So down. So if you're down. I'm. I'm not doing anything on Sunday. Oh my god. I this do nothing other than read and sit here. Oh myself. my god, Lucy, we're in the same position. Are you shitting yourself? Are you confident in your abilities? Um, can you go on campus? Because I can't go on campus. I have not been on campus once. <laughs> and I'm in my second semester. But next year, when I'm in my second year, I'll be living um in the place I'm going to university. So that'll be fun, that'll be jokes. Mm-hmm. I'll send you the links. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we do like a love heart but like connect wait, how the fuck do I do a love heart? Wait, you do you get it on the other side. Wait, wait, this is hard. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Okay, wait. I can do it. Wait. I do like Wait. This is the hardest thing ever. You look like you're about to kill me. You're like, Sarah, I'm coming for you. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Um, I love it here. Oh, for the lockdown. Oh, that's cool. God, our lockdown is being. That's, that's a, an amazing idea. It's really good. It's certified. Everybody in the chat is, we're all best friends now, okay? Home to psychology. Oh my God, Emma, that was one of the things I wanted to do, but the points are absolutely an atrocity. They're like 500 plus points. Um, but you can definitely do it. You seem like a smart young lady, <laughs> you know, promising. I have to do psychology, actually. I have, I have, oh, I should give you some insight. I did psychology as one of my modules this semester, and mm -hmm. it was like psychology in everyday life. And if you're into essays, I would say pick psychology. I got, mm -hmm. I think I got a, like a C1 in my essay, which is on the chart of like things. It's actually really bad. <laughs> like, um, but I would say do psychology if you're into like essays and stuff. <laughs> For me, and like I, learning, I it's really interesting. For me, I think I would be doing this to study like criminals' brains. That's just something that I would be into, but that's not all of psychology. So, yeah, it's interesting. I'm screaming. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. If your your goddamn claw hands and me trying to do this other thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so great. Yeah, I know. Five hundred plus points. It's a bit mad. It's probably like went. Hour? I don't know. I don't know what year you're in. So the points will probably go down because they went. They went down for my year, anyways, because of the whole coronavirus and that. And they're going to go mm -hmm. up for the six years this year. So it'll probably go down for you. I'm not too sure though. I'm not too sure. Sabrina. Sabrina has the long episode. Is an hour long. Yeah, it's an hour long That's... each episode. No, not every season. Sometimes I think they brought it down to forty. But it's like with Sabrina, you just have to, you just have to like invest the time. It's worth it. Yeah. You should just do an all nighter. Honestly, it would be. It, it is. It is a binge worthy um show. Yeah, it is. It, it's really a binge binge worthy show. It is. It is. Hey, they better. <laughs> <laughs> they probably will unless like they rank it up like 600 points oh my god if it was 600 points that's like that's actually really crazy that's mm -hmm. for like medicine and stuff um <laughs> that's uh, do you know do you you don't understand the irish system of points do you? yeah <laughs> i feel like it's only I, in ireland where we have points for us it's not like based on points it's like I don't know how to explain it because I've never been inside of a law school, but I know that it's like different grading types, but I kind of can understand mm. what you're talking about, <laughs> but not that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I get you, I get you. After this, this I'm going to binge until I die. Love that. Yeah. Do oh, it. that's so sad though. Grab if you do another life, you'll be dead, so you can't go binge. <laughs> grab a big like pile of food or something. So, and then just do it, then just binge. Then just binge, yeah. eat, binge, watch, and then it's gonna be the best experience. I think I've got, I've got, I've developed this really bad habit where if, if I'm watching like a YouTube video, I have to have like food when I'm doing it and it's so bad. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, oh, I'm watching a video, let me get some biscuits, even though I might've had my dinner like five minutes ago, so it makes no sense. I know. Um... I'm I can do it. <laughs> if you go somewhere else, honestly, the points are you should go to the Netherlands or something. That's what my brother did because the, the points are I know their grade system over there is lower than our one. Um yeah. Definitely putting myself. Never done it before. I went on Canvas first half of the first not anymore. Oh yeah, I'm shitting myself too. I'm doing with I it's like me and some other person are doing it. And yeah, it'll be exciting. But love, oh, so horrible. Snacks are life. I can't have snacks when I'm reading. 
Can you have snacks when you're when you're reading? Yes, I love snacks. Like, but it depends what type of snack it is. Like, if it's like you know the chips that get on your book, then I can't. But like, yeah, if, it's, yeah, yeah. if it's like a bar or something that I can eat, I'll really go with that. What if it's melted chocolate? No. See, like I yeah. can't. <laughs> How do you keep and me, especially when it involves like liquid, it always ends yeah. up on my book somehow, somewhere, sometime. Yeah. It ends up on my book, so it's like I can't do that. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll see you when I die, anyways, because you're gonna die pretty soon if you watch it all and then you die. Oh my god, I need to stop talking about that. That's bad. <laughs> um, do you want to do another sprint? I feel like we've just been talking for like. In ages, <laughs> let me reset the timer. Okay, share me screen. Okay, can you see? Ooh, lovely. Okay, I'm putting on the timer now. Happy reading, everyone. Have a great time.
Okay, we get a timer. We get a timer. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I need to pee so extremely badly. So the rains are with you, Bisma. You are taking over my channel for, let's say, a couple of minutes. Okay, are you ready for this? I am so ready for this. <laughs> Whoops, not that. Whoops. <laughs> Why is this so long? <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. It's just us. I think I'm going to read this in my this comment. Um, let's see. Is anyone doing the 24 hour readathon with Mel Reed? Um, any ending boundary and bookmark and books and more to see in the future? Oh, there's a readathon? Hmm. I did not know that. That's so interesting. Who else is going to join? I will probably, and then the next comment is I will probably text one of you about Sabrina and give you my thoughts. Yes, give me your Sabrina thoughts. I love Sabrina so much. It's amazing, fantastic. Um, Emma is doing it. That's so cool. I'm so super excited. I hope I don't fall asleep. Honestly, I haven't done a 24 hour readathon in so long. I remember it was like one of my first videos that I ever made for BookTube. So it's like it's very sentimental. But 24 hour readathons are very hard. Very hard. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What are you do what are you going to be reading? She's gonna she's gonna be finishing Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and then maybe picking up another uh I'm like just reading all the comments trying to understand what to talk about. Um The Hunger Games. Have you finished the Hunger Games? Oh I think she just left. I I read the Hunger Games, but I haven't read them in so long. I feel like I haven't read them in like almost three years now. Looking at them just makes me super sentimental. It kind of reminds me of like Throne of Glass, and it reminds me of um, what else? What else? Uh, what other books? Like Throne of Glass and like all those types of books. That's what it reminds me of. Um, it just reminds me of a time of like when I was first getting really into reading. So whenever I see the Hunger Games, it makes me like kind of like really sentimental. Um. Yeah, Sarah, you just keep leaving. <laughs> You're oh, she just left again. She just leaves. She just leaves me here by myself. Uh, I read a whopping zero pages there. I know it's hard to read to be honest when it's scheduled like this. Uh, where are you from? This one looks like it's still light outside. Well, it's I think it's three thirty p.m. here. I live in New York, so. That is why there's, sorry, I just hit my computer. That is why there's still light outside. Um, I'm surprised. The sun is probably going to set in like an hour or two. Daylight savings really suck. Um, I sleep every readathon. <laughs> yes. and I, it's hard. Readathons are so hard for me. I, I feel like that's why I haven't like participated in one in so long, but I'm so excited. Maybe I'll join. Um, <laughs> I'm so Sarah. sorry. My so internet my in. is so bad. I'm it. connecting my phone to my <laughs> Oh my god, she's is literally just leaving. Again. Okay. Um but, uh, Holy moly, but Jolly. Okay. Sad times. Oh my god, I loved Okay, I need to read it. I need to read it now. What else are we reading? Okay, this is cool. Could I I don't know? run so i'm just like going through these <laughs> oh my god you're here go to the next yeah oh my god i'm so cold is someone reading the hunger games yeah somebody was i was talking a little bit about it oh cool oh my god everyone should read the hunger games it's honestly <gasps> oh my god you're reading. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I was like, peace out, I'm gone. Okay. 
New York City. Oh, how is it? How? Oh my God, how is um Corona in New York? Is it like bad? Is it good? Is it's, it? Honestly, uh, it's going like fine. I think we're doing better than we were before, but it's That's still good. not like ideal to go out. I went out um only like a couple of times. I only go out to do grocery shopping, and then the last week I hang out, like I hung out with some friends. It's really weird in New York. It's like kind yeah, of yeah. empty. It's weird. Yeah. Um, in Ireland, we literally can't do anything. <clears throat> I'm reading Akater for the first time. Oh my god! Yes. Um, weren't we fair talking enough. about how it felt, like how we both want to go back and just reread that for the first yeah. time? I oh. really wish I could. Enjoy I wish it. I had, like brain lost. Savor it. Maybe you should vlog or something. Yeah, you should actually. That'd be good. You guys need. Yes. Wait, what? I'm confused. <laughs> There's a readathon with Mel Reads and a bunch of other people. Is there? Is uh -huh. that the Twitter readathon with Mel Reads? Wait, go to oh, the next tonight. One. What time is tonight? Because it's practically tonight for me already. <laughs> it's already tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing good though that's cool though you should join bisma and then tell me your experience okay, but like, readathons read readathons kind of freak me out because i love like planning my reading but i'm i also like to yeah. have the the option to just read whatever i want so. yeah i get you Addy LaRue, oh my that. god emily you need to text that's me your feelings good. every page have you read that I book actually that you heard bad things? I haven't. No, I've heard it's really good. I've heard, like, really, oh. really good things. I need to read it myself. I think if I read it, I'll do a vlog because I I, I think it's going to be yeah. an experience. I think mortality, because it talks a lot about mortality, and I think that's such an interesting topic and that not a lot of authors or books, like, talk about it, and I think, oh, honestly, it's so good. Marie Six of Crows, nice! On oh, top of I didn't really like Six of Crows. <laughs> Okay, Emma. And the thing is, Emma I think I've been brainwashed to like it. I think you're getting kicked out. I think out I've been call. brainwashed to like it. It's bad. Um, I love I'm it. Archangel. Oh my god, Clockwork Angel. Is that the last book I... in the Infernal Devices trilogy? No, I think it's the first one. It's the first one, <gasps> and it's so good. I remember, I, I saw... I saw Cassandra Clare a couple of years ago and she signed my copy of it and I had the copy for so long and it made me so sentimental because I was like, I love this book so much and now my favorite author is yeah. signing it. Me and Emily, um, wait, where is she? She, Emily, who's like typing in the group, we, we met um, Cassandra Clare and Holly Black, I think in 2019. And it was such mm. a good experience. It was class. Um, oh, I actually, so nice, you know right? what? Do you know the YouTuber, um, Perina Reads? Yeah. Or the booktuber. I met her there. I, she, really? I don't know, does she not? Yeah, I met her and it was so weird. I was like seeing her, I was like, who is this? And I was like, and I was like, oh my God, that's Perina. And I'm like, oh my God, hi, how are you? <laughs> oh my God, I remember Perina came to New York, I think, for BookCon and we were supposed to meet up, but then I had gotten sick or something and we never got to meet up. It was so sad. Oh, but she so I wanna go to BookCon so badly uh, apparently they're done apparently they're not going to do any more conventions i'm not sure maybe just act like i suppose COVID. yeah i love tamlin but everyone says that will change soon uh-huh it's gonna change <laughs> no you should you should love him right now because like that's how you're feeling in the book and that's how i felt in the first book See, just love him don't mind I everyone else and what they're saying but that's why I can't reread it. Is because like I can't pretend to like him again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god, when I reread it, I did like Hamlet again. I was like, Sarah, what's going on here? You know he's a dodgy <laughs> guy, and you're liking him again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love really? editing, but it's not very fancy. Yeah, it's not fantasy. Uh, yeah, it's I like feel weird. Like, it's, it's, like you were saying, I think it's more like philosophical and like looking on life and yeah. what it's like to be human. I like books like that. Though. I love that. Though. I think I'm I love like that. It. Have you watched Have you watched the movie Am um, Soul? <gasps> yes. Oh my god, I loved it so much. It, it was, was such an incredible movie. movie. I loved how like you don't have to have a spark. It's just like a was, spark for life. I was life. really crying. I was just crying. Like at the end of like, I there was certain times so where I was like, 
my heart. And honestly, just watching it just made my heart feel so happy. I know I loved it. Then she starts at midnight. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Actually, to be fair, I've been staying up to like half one. But like literally mm -hmm. on my phone, I wouldn't do anything. I'm just on my phone, just doing nothing till half one is bad. Isn't it? It? I don't know which book it is. But... It might be Annie LaRue. I don't know. I'm all here for the peer pressure tonight. <laughs> Jesus, Bismarck, yeah. come on, clutch with this peer pressure. It's great. Or not Bismarck, Emma. <laughs> Um, yeah she did um 2019 january i think mm -hmm. she's emma you're behind on this now book on is my dream yeah. honestly as somebody who's gone it's it's some overrated like, <laughs> it's shite you just want to say that it's really shite no it's is not it, is, not. It, is, it, is there like clicks is there like clicks i've always wanted to know this <laughs> wait am i supposed to say yes. yes especially for me i, I remember so. like i met my i met one of my best friends, like booktube friends there uh jasmine yeah. like lamori books i met her oh yes, 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 yes we like clicked we clicked together because we felt like we were like outsiders because everybody <laughs> had a group and we were like oh hey. no <laughs> hi everyone hi <laughs> <laughs> honestly and that's why like i love book too but the the thing that i have a problem with i was thinking about making a video about this i, I have so many yeah. video ideas i just film them but yeah, the thing about book is like the, the thing about booktube is like there's there's already like whenever you join there's you might want to be friends with like a group of people but you feel like mm -hmm. you can't be friends with them because they're already a group and I, not so much yeah. they're they're putting it out that they don't want another friend, but you feel awkward being the new friend, and it kind of feels like you're forcing your way in. Yeah, yeah. So it feels like a little yeah, bit I off. That's how I felt at like BookCon because I was like, I was so excited to meet everybody, and so I could finally put the profile yeah. picture with my face, and I was like, oh yeah, my yeah. god, I was like fangirling and everything. But it was hard for me because. I'm I'm really extroverted, but even for me, it was hard. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like, I would say so. Scary. But honestly, Jesus. there were clicks, though. There were clicks, and I, I'm not gonna say who was clicks, but like there were clicks for sure, and that's okay. Oh, and it's, the tea, <laughs> the tea is but, ruined. Uh, I should get a cup of tea now. Honestly, <laughs> I was. Oh my god! Addie it's literally. literally. Oh, I have no idea what that genre is. Not a clue. I think isn't literally. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to. I'm not even gonna try. So so <laughs> so good. Maybe I should screen share screen and then like Google it so then we will all know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah I won't do that actually. <laughs> I love it. It was such a good movie. It was such a good meaning behind it too. I really love mm -hmm. if I was fantasy. Yeah, I don't think it's it's not fantasy. It's stuck in where we did. My sister watched okay. someone cry and told me she didn't want to die. She's saying, <laughs> honestly. I watched her watching together. I was being so emotional. It just, I don't know. I feel like maybe because it's the pandemic or everything, and people have so many expectations on them that, like, it just put it perfectly how everybody feels about not. And you know, I feel like everybody's been there because there's some people who have like passions and they know what they're good at. Like, I have a friend who can sing really yeah. well, and I have other friends who do other things. And but for me, it's like I have so many passions. It's not just one thing. So watching that movie like really solidified yeah. for me that that's okay. You know. Yeah, and it's okay to look at leaves fall. You know, leaves are pretty cool. Like, yeah, nature is so cool. I just, it's so amazing. Oh my god, I have to tell you, I went on a walk today. Okay, so mm -hmm. we're going through the ditch, some lovely ditches, which like have so many thorns. There's not, it's not really like a climax of a story. It's just me going through ditches and thorns. And my parents, I was with my mom and my dad and the lovely dogs. And we were going through this little like this little cubby hole, I want to say, and it was just filled with thorns and some really dodgy looking thorns too. They were like goddamn big ass triangles and. I have this thing where I'm in pain. I scream all the time. So we were in a field and I was just screaming constantly going through the little hole. And like my parents were behind me and the dogs were behind me. And it probably looked like something out of a horror movie. 
I don't know. I don't know why you can't say that. Yeah, it could have been. <laughs> oh my god, animus. I think they're totally I think, is. I think she's talking about the clicks we were talking about. There are clicks. And I don't care, people. Literally, I love book two, but there are clicks yeah. and we need to admit it. Like, don't pretend like there's not clicks. Okay? I don't, there are. I don't know how to. I don't know which ones are like in groups, but I, I know people are like more friends with each other than other people. But like, then that might be because they don't know the other people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know there's one that's definitely that pops into my head. But you have to text me who it I'm is. You have, to text me. you have to text me who it I is. I think. I think we. I think there's this one group. I think we mutually would know, but yeah, I don't know if there's. I, I don't even know who's. But I know these. There's two people, anyways. <laughs> I think we know. I think we know. But you need to text me who it is. Yeah, and then I'll tell you if you were wrong. Yeah, I will. Okay. Um, <laughs> Did you get to see any big booktubers? Yeah, I got to see, I got to see well, my first year that I went. I got to see like you know like the original like big booktubers. I got to see uh, Jesse. I got to see uh, so Jesse the reader. I got to see <gasps> Colin. Did you see Christina? Stuff. Yeah, I got to see Christine, and I got oh, to see Katie, yes. fantastic, and I got to see Natasha from Tasha Polis. I got to see all of them because they had like a big oh, meet yes. and greet, and it was so much fun. It was so so much fun. But Aww. another thing about like just like meeting booktubers is like there there's some that are so nice and then there's some that like you know when mm -hmm. you meet somebody in person you don't know what's going on in their day. So they might have had a shitty day and then you see them and yeah. I can't mind my uh, I see like people it's like you know they might have had a shitty day and that's why they're like a little bit off. But the person that I met yeah, yeah, yeah. that just like feels the nicest was Emma Books. Oh my god, she left <laughs> again. But I'm just gonna keep talking until she comes back. But like I met Emma Books and she was so 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 sweet. She's like so adorable and so nice. Like I keep Books. on getting kicked out. I was just talking about Emma oh my Books. Gosh. I love Emma Books. Like I got to see Emma Books um multiple times. I got to see her at BookCon, but I was too shy to talk to her. So I didn't talk to her at BookCon. But Emma Books. Again. I saw her again at um, the Cassie Claire signing, so I really loved, I loved seeing her. And she is so nice every single time mm -hmm. I see her. Like, she is the sweetest ever, and I just love her so much. Yeah, yeah. She's my favorite, like, big booktuber. Yeah. And then I saw um, Hannah, and I saw Zoe, but I was so oh. shy. Oh, oh. I was just trying to talk to them. I saw them and they looked so pretty. And I was like, okay, we're going to act like we don't see them because you're too shy to talk to them. So I didn't. But it was so I love You they should like casually so slide over to them or something. Or like glide. Oh my God, that'd be such a cool entrance. If it's like a slippery, slippery floor, just glide into them. Or not into them, but like in the center of them if they're in a circle. Be like, hi, everyone. Like, you know, okay, well, you know <laughs> like, the convention hall is so big, but people will like group up together. Does that make sense? Like, they'll. Yeah. Group it's like together. normal. It's like normal life. It's just books that we're interested in, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, it would happen in normal life. Could you go back to the last comment? Very normal life. That's so sad. Well, we can be here for you, Lucy. Don't even worry. We'll be your online no, we're, good friends. We're friends now. Wait, go back Don't to even the last worry. One. Go back go to now, Lucy. This one? Yeah, this one. That's exactly oh my god! I, I want. To. I feel awkward joining in. Yeah, it's weird sometimes because people have what? like, let's say, inside jokes, and then you're like, "Hi." <laughs> And okay, I don't like want this to come off bad, but there's like some people that I've tried to like be friends with, and then I feel like yeah, I'm yeah. texting them, but I feel like they're not texting me back. So I feel like I get they're, that. Approaching me, they're approaching me more as like a, to or, like a like, or like a I don't know, I don't know, yeah. how it, but it just feels like weird. And for me, I, I don't like for me, like my channel, my pages, and everything is like it's not for fans, it's for friends in a sense. Like, I yeah. love people and i love having yeah, people yeah. to talk about books with so for yeah. me it, like rubs me the wrong way when somebody treats me like a fan I get that. I'm, like, I'm like i get that. really weird let me stop talking imagine to imagine now in two years time like the, f the first thing you say in your videos is like hello all my fans 
Oh my god, that was so funny. No. <laughs> Sans, hope you're doing well. <laughs> I, I hope see, you're I feel very awkward. I'm just super shy. Stay as a bookstore. You should go on YouTube. It's like, it's, I think it's better because on Bookstagram, you see pictures of people, but on Instagram, you get to see their personality, I feel like. So it's easier to be friends I, with someone because you know semi of who they are. Ish. I would say also that I think you should do both and you should do like YouTube as like yeah. something that you do for fun. Because for me, yeah. I love YouTube and I try to like, make it a thing for so oh, so shit. long but it's so hard does that make sense like you it's hard to grow your audience especially when like a lot of people on booktube already have their core people that they watch so it's hard to get their attention yeah, yeah, yeah. so i would say to do both because you can make friends both ways and then for me i've also like started a tiktok which is like a book talk page and it's so much fun there's so many people on there and it's like 60 seconds but you can make it your own thing and it's really good You should do it. My internet is actually yeah. so horrible. Like, you sound like a robot 24 7. I'm just trying to decipher what you're saying. It's so bad. I would, okay, Alicia, for sure, you should become a booktuber, bookstagram. Just do it. It's for oh, you. Yes. And yes. Just, like, don't take it too seriously. Like, have fun. Like, this is for yeah. you. It's stuff that you like just to do. do. The jokes. And honestly, yeah, <laughs> Sarah, do it for the jokes. Just do it for the loves. I'm always down to make new friends on booktube and i definitely don't think numbers matter when making friends yeah but some people agree some people it does and they can lie and say that it doesn't but some people like i know like in my head i know exactly who i'm talking yeah. about like, there's people that they can act like it doesn't matter but it does and honestly for me yeah. I, I think you should start booktube with trying to be friends with people who or how our smaller book people or something just because it, i feel like it's more fun and it's more yeah, yeah, yeah. um but of course i'm not telling you to just be friends with like smaller booktubers you can be friends with anybody but i'm just saying that like yeah. bigger booktubers or bigger influencers might like feel weird i don't know i don't know but yeah yeah i get that did we start in the same time ish we, yes. i think we did we <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's better than the same time. Yeah, um, I think that's good though. Text me too. Emma, we're, right oh, we're, <laughs> we're making a group chat right now, ASAP after this. I'm so. I love Who's I Emma? Know, Emma books. You, oh. you need to watch Emma books. You need to watch Emma books. Does she like have. Oh my god. Does she have like a big bookshelf? Is that yes. really big? <laughs> yes, like half of Bookshelf has a big bookshelf. Everyone has a big bookshelf, but like she has like a massive ass bookshelf behind her. I don't know. I feel like I know who it is, but I might also I not know who it is. I feel like I should. No. I might try. I might it. try. Should. Uh, Emma's my yeah. Emma is I know, my I know who Emma is now. I know who it is. <laughs> She's into sh she knows Shadow Hunters, anyways. Yeah, she's obsessed with shadow hunters. That's oh, how I yeah. found her originally. Yeah, she seems really like really down to earth. I don't watch her videos, but like I like the odd she, time and my my recommendations, so I watch it then. She for me, I love watching her videos just because um it doesn't feel like again like going back to what I was saying like it doesn't feel like we're her fans. It's like we're her friends. And we're all yeah, just yeah, talking yeah. about. Her. I love that type of energy. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, she's so good. Mm -hmm. I should subscribe to her. <laughs> yeah, this one, that's not true. I'm nobody's fan. So, yeah, it does. It sounds awful. It does. It sounds awful. But like, I, I, would, have, I would have no you know, problem saying you're not my friend, though. I would have no what? problem saying, yeah, like, I'm a fan of Bismas or something. Because like, I think it's funny and I think it's, I don't know, it's weird, but like, I think it's grand because, you know, we know each other and we're friends. I'll be like, oh, yeah, I support her. A big fan over here. Yeah, but I feel like they're not taking it in that sense they're taking it in the sense of like these are the people that like yeah. in a ruder sense yeah. of them. like i'm a fan yeah, of a lot of people but like i don't want to be made to feel yeah. less than just because i don't have a big following you know what i'm saying yeah i get you yeah i get no you. matter if like tomorrow i wake up with like 50k followers or something like i'm not going to be like okay you guys are nice <laughs> <laughs> 
I didn't know your channel. Kate, Cat, Can, Rain said you were live streaming. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Oh you guys are just so much like, You might have got 50,000 subscribers now. You never know. This way. You might even guys, it's up to you. We're waking up with 50,000 subscribers tomorrow. 50,000. Isma can do it. She can do it. Isma not the robot. Yeah, I know. Some, I, know I swear. You've been doing this for almost three hours. I swear to God, for like, at least an hour of it, you were a robot. <laughs> Seriously? Wait, is it better now? <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, it's semi-better. <laughs> it's just... I don't know what's going on. But, like, we digress. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Some people who read matter, so and I hate it. I don't actually know. know. Like, do you know, do you know someone who definitely does that? Because I don't, I don't really take any notice. To be fair, honestly, oh God, well, for me, I try to be friends. With, I'm not gonna say names. <laughs> I'm not gonna say names. I'm not sorry, buddy. You just text me their names. <laughs> no, it's just I've been around so much that like. I know when I know when people are being fake. And I know when somebody genuinely like you. You get the feeling when somebody's being off with you. So for me, yeah. that that is enough for me to make that assumption. And it's not like yeah. they try to reach out to me and make me feel another way. It's just how it is. And you know, I'm okay with that because I I don't want to be friends with people who are just friends with me because of my followers or whatever. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Wise words. Wise words. I love finding new and smaller booktubers. Honestly, I great time. Literally, it's so much fun. And you know, it's so crazy to me because I I don't like to watch that many bigger booktubers. Like there's only I think only two. I watch Hannah, like Clockwork Readers a lot. I watch hers a lot. And I watch Emma Books, and those are the two top creators that I watch a lot. And then everybody else I like follow yeah, like, yeah. small booktubers because I love seeing people who are like around the same thing as me. And I feel like to be honest, and it's not people yeah. like per se, but as they get bigger like it's harder for uh, it's harder to be more authentic because you know there's yeah. so many more eyes on you and you want to conform more because there's so many yeah. more opinions on you but i feel like smaller booktubers we just say whatever the hell is on our minds and we're like yes that's how we feel and that's our review and that's it. i actually find it really hard like watching new booktubers because i have i have this thing i barely watch booktube i only watch booktube for the people that i actually like their personality for so people like I know that I'll enjoy their videos and that's like the extent of it because I, I love watching like just random like other videos like funny videos and like booktube is like a really small part and I feel bad sometimes I'm like so you should really like watch some other people. That's literally how I feel like I for me I have like my core group of people that I watch but honestly yeah, yeah. I'm like looking to expand because I want to support more people now because I like you said yeah. I feel bad I'm like there's so many people on here and I want to try to support as many people as I can yeah I just want to know. I just is this Emma Bus? Emma Bus? it's me she guys <laughs> in disguise <laughs> um <Oof>. okay. <laughs> I was scared to start booktube for the longest time, but I started a bookstagram recently and just blocked everyone in one room. Yes, that's a good way. That's a really good way. Okay. I feel like I can talk on this because my page, like, hey, it's just not on my Instagram, is, like, it's hard for me because I have people who follow me that I know in real life. And sometimes, like, I can feel embarrassed. But yeah. then I try to remind myself that, like, this is what I love and people have things that they love. And if people, like, nobody's genuinely ever told me, like, this must shut up. Like, stop talking about books because... I don't think somebody would do that, but it, I can get it. Like yeah, it feels yeah. awkward, but for me, I, I, cause on my yeah. page on Instagram, I have like I post book stuff, but I also post my real life stuff. So it's like a balance for me, and I really like it. I, like some people told me to make another account, but I feel like that's so much work, so I did it. Yeah, it will be. It will be. It will be. Oh my god. I'm so sad over my internet. It's so sad. Um, Book TV show. <laughs> yes. Wait. I'm excited for more adaptations. TV. Like recommendations of this are like what? <laughs> um, all I can think about right now is just Shadow and Bone because it's coming so soon. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just went out there again. 
Is Shadow okay. Born? Is that coming out in April? April? I think it's coming out in like a week or two weeks or something. A week? Uh, yeah. Oh, something like that. that's exciting. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. Emma, we're yeah, going to be best Emma, we're going to be best friends. Oh god, I'm a fan of and that can run me over now and thank him. <laughs> you're just dying and then you're like, thank you. Thank you for running me over. Please do it again. <laughs> okay. oh. You're making me so cute. <laughs> I feel like you, you guys already know. <laughs> I'm actually so struggling to press these these things to show them. It's my yeah. Emma, we're best friends. Oh god, I got it. You're making me curious. Okay, let's go. To... I have to go see what this has been. <gasps> Thank you for coming. I hope you read something somewhat yeah. of the book. I, I think I have. Oh, Don't I have me. to go. By... <gasps> Thank you Emma, for joining. Hi. Hope you read some. Of them. Hope you read some of the Kingdom of Flesh and. The word I can't remember. Oh, I thought April too. Yeah, I thought I it was it, April. I think it might be April, but I don't know why. I think I saw the trailer. I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> Did I? I don't think I watched the trailer. I just looked at the really cool pictures because <laughs> they're so <laughs> class. Yeah, they're so well done. Oh my, goodness. oh my god! I'm like a matchmaker. Am I Cupid? Yes. Oh my god! I could be Cupid. She got a bow and arrow. Yeah, we need to come out with a bow and arrow. We sure, we for sure need to like do this reading sprint with Emma. That's gonna be so much fun. April. Yeah, April. April time. Oh yeah, with Emma, that'll be so class. So good. Oh. Oh my God, I've never had this many comments in this short of a time <laughs> span. It's because oh, we're fine. It's because we're so entertaining like what can you do <laughs> we're so much fun oh my god <laughs> uh, do you want to read do you want to read for a bit the reading session okay, yeah. yes let me get the timer me... back let me share the screen oh whoops wait i'm gonna go use the bathroom so you can start it don't you have Twitter? Oh, I barely use my Twitter. I actually hate Twitter. No offense to Twitter. <gasps> yes. Wait. Don't you have Twitter? Did you link for stream? Nice. Nice one. Oh, please do not do the time of it though at like 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> I'm literally I asleep. Down for anything. Sunday, I'm mostly free, but. Uh, oh, yeah, the time zones are different. <laughs> yeah, are you like six hours, five hours behind? Maybe? Um, I think, Is yeah, it, I think that's right. It's nine o'clock it's, it's it's for me now. Yeah, it's four oh. here. So, like, five hours. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Actually, hey, Spitter. Spitter is <laughs> Twitter, too. But I may want to see who's having yeah. nice. I literally, I have this thing now where I go into YouTube search, I look, just look up live reading sprints, or I look up reading sprints, and then I go into the options section, and I go into live, and I find out people doing live reading sprints, and it's, I love it. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, Even I'm though I don't read. Sprints, but I feel like I should do more. You should. They're really fun. And they're nice human interaction, because I swear to God, I've not interacted with my friends in such a long time. Oh, I know this quarantine has been sucking my soul. I think it'll be fun. <gasps> That's a good time for me. That's a good time for me. Okay, I'm gonna look that up for me. It'll be it'll be when this started, so it'll be one one p.m. for you again. Oh, that's perfect for me. Oh, I, we doing well over here. Oh, nice. I remember guys, that. guys, everybody who's here yeah. needs to come back for for Emma's live. Okay, we need a oh. we need to have the same energy over there <laughs> oh it's gonna be like a big group though because i know i think i it was on her instagram uh wait who's doing a hannah 
He's doing, oh god, I don't know their names. Actually, I'm not even going to try to say their names because I don't know their names. But I know some other people are doing it and they're cool. So it's going to be really good and I'm really excited. Um, okay, everyone, we're going to start reading and Bism is going to go to the toilet. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be oh right my, back. Okay, oh my god, there'll be a timer too so we'll know how long you you weren't this time before. Okay. No. Okay. 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 Enjoy. Okay. Everyone, we are going to start the reading. So get your reading, reading situation. Oh my God. I just, okay. Get your reading situation started. Okay. We're starting now. I'm muting myself. Hi, I just wanted to say I'm back. <laughs> That's it. A whopping, by how many? Two minutes? Or one mm -hmm. and a bit minutes? That's good timing. That's good. <laughs> cool. <laughs> little applause. <laughs> okay. okay.
Oh, oh my god. I actually think that would be such a class beat if we did like if we made up a rap tune with that timer beat t- along with it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so our that's our theme song. I need to get my chair. Yeah. I need to chair to my phone. Do you want to see my cup? Um, mm-hmm. I got it for my dad for Father's Day. It says, "To the world, you are a daddy, but to your family, you are the world." <laughs> Oh, so cute. I love that you get to use it too. Yeah, I know. I'm actually a father. Mm-hmm. Part time father. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I think that I might DNF this book. You should. Fuck classics. Uh, Who needs to read classics? I feel like just because I forgot how racist white people are <laughs> in oh. oh god yeah you should yeah. You should do and i Is there any i don't other know book? i don't know yeah i could probably get i'm gonna i'm like also have books on my phone so i'm okay too but how is your reading <laughs> oh my god my phone needs to my phone needs to get on with the internet you need to connect my friend <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, I was going to ask you, what books are you excited for that are going to be released this year? Which books? Okay, I'm going to make a video. <laughs> um, but I'm, 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 I'm on my head. Give us spoilers. I swear, I swear, I literally just said I'm, I'm going to film like 20 videos in this whole life. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, this video, this video. I'm like, where are you going to have the time? <laughs> Um, I, I think I'm really looking forward to, uh, of course I'm looking forward to Cassian and Esther's book because I just love it, I love every second of it, and I, yeah. I think Chain of Iron is also coming out this year, yeah. those were like basic books, but one yeah. is like this romance book called The X Talk, which basically um, is like a talk show host with these two people that are forced to work together for the show. Um, and it's really funny, and I, I really want to read it. I, I follow the author, and she's like really, she's really cute. So I'm excited to see what happens with the book. What you about you? Read, um, you should read J.R. Ward. Um, her I books. heard that, that her books look so big. They look like they're so long. Oh no, no, it's it's like it's. I can't describe it because it's. Uh, okay, it has no plot. I would like to say it just does not have a plot. It would it <laughs> wants there to be a plot, but there is no plot. But the characters just like make up the whole plot. The whole the characters are phenomenal. And oh my god, the saucy bits, they're so there's a lot of them and they do not hold back. <laughs> and it's so amazing. Oh, I I've read like 16 books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. You should read that series. Um, mm-hmm. it's so good. I saw that one, but I, you I need haven't. To read it. You should read it. It's it's so good, so good. Is I'm excited for Crescent City too. Sorry, <laughs> my mic sounds so bad. Wait, maybe if I hold on. Um, Wait, is it my mic? I probably my mic sounds really weird. Does it sound bad now? Like Wait, talk again. Wait, does it sound better? Oh my god, yeah, it does. Oh my god, it's like a whole. It does. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. How did you do? That? Wow. I just was messing around with the microphone settings. <laughs> I just pressed like different buttons. Is there microphone settings? Oh my god, there is. Audio. Yeah. I don't. I'm afraid if I touch this, I'll just totally mute myself by accident. So I don't know if that's too <laughs> And leave the call again. Yeah. The amount of times I've left it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking i was like yeah i'm gone <laughs> peace out <laughs> oh my god i'm really excited for <laughs> city two that's the main book i'm excited for you know that's one of the basic books too i know oh my Don't god it. i'm so excited there's so many if anything that we can get from this year um is the books there's so many coming yeah. out yes what are you yes. guys excited to read? Are you excited for anything? <laughs> I think I have to go in like 20 minutes. 
but oh yeah, I'm, I was I was gonna finish it soon. Um, half nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should both eat, and you guys should eat. <laughs> Everyone have a feast. Just eat everything you can see. I want you to go on Instagram and I want you to send me your your food. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I want. That'd be fun. I want to like mess around with like. Oh my god, my friends trying to Facetime me. Oh no! I love it. Stop! Oh my god! You have this your way, I don't like this there. I I want one so bad. This way you is have weird. Another ear piercing. You have another ear piercing? I want one so bad. Oh, this one. Oh yeah. my god, I want to get one. Did it hurt? My second. You know what? It does when you get a shot into your ear, but then actually it was sore to sleep on. But mm -hmm. like it's grand. I want to get my second. So cool. Yeah. It I've been so wanting to do my whole ear. Yeah, I would totally I be to into that. All the way up here or something. Mm -hmm. I, I have totally do that. I had my seconds done, but they closed up because it just, my ear hates having piercings in them. So I have mm -hmm. to, once I get it pierced, I have to leave it in for probably like a year before mm -hmm. I can take it out. Um, I had I my seconds two ears and my pierced since thing. I was little, so they've been here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get my first piercing done like a couple times because my mm -hmm. ears just kept on closing up and it was, it was a bad time. It was on the scale of a bad time. Oh, what food are you going to eat? There's a description. I have no idea. Do you know what I, I don't know why. I don't know what I'm going to eat for dinner, but I know that I want chips and salsa right after this, for sure. Oh, chips and salsa. I, I don't think I've ever had that. <laughs> oh my God. It's chips so and good. I, and I, I recently got into queso with my chips. So I love it. I have a great time. You have a great time with your food. That's the best time having a great time yes. with food. I feel like I could actually sleep now. <laughs> I know. Like, I'm weirdly <laughs> exhausted. I swear yeah. I was about to fall asleep reading my book. I was, I was very... Yeah, you should you should DNF and then go on to a really nice romance book. I think I'm going to... I Okay, so... I'm currently reading, I said before, like, A Party of Two, which is, like, a cute, little quirky, like, little lawyer romance book. But I am yeah, looking into reading this, like, really spicy one that was recommended on TikTok. And I'm thinking about, like, reading books, like, that are recommended by people from Book Talk. Again, yeah, yeah. another video where <laughs> we're just going to yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just keep, keep but on going. I just, I think it's called Corrupt or something. I'll send you if you really want to read it, but I know nothing about it. All I know is that um, she used to, to like, she used to date his brother, uh, but something happened and it didn't end well. And then years yeah. later, like, they end up in the same, like, place. And he wants revenge because apparently she put one of his best friends in prison or something. And yeah. does that now sound so spicy? Like, what's going on? You should read the book, um backstage pass <gasps> you know what you should read you should read hard is it hate notes it's called hate notes hate notes that sounds it's, interesting it's by, i think it's called i think it's by v keelan something like that it's called hate notes and basically this girl she she yeah. Um, she was giving her dress up to like a, a charity shop, like a thrift store, and she she was like trying on these different wedding dresses, and she found she was like holding one of them, and she found one in the inner pockets, like this love letter that this guy wrote to like the bride, I guess, and she Ooh. found his name and everything, and so she stalked him. She stalked him a bit on 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 it's like Facebook and like social media to find out what happened. Yeah, yeah. And she finds out that, you know, he was never married and everything. And she finds out that he's a real estate agent. So she ends up going to one of his listings to see him. Like she's not there to like I'm sorry, why is it like all the books I'm recommending they're low key creepy? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I see twins. Like, there's revenge and there's stalking. They're like the two things I've gotten that you like in books. <laughs> I don't like it, but it's just like it's not as weird as it sounds. <laughs> but she goes, she goes there to like see him because she's like really, she wants to know like 
she just she's just curious to see him and just go yeah. and so she goes and yeah he's horrible and she hates him and somehow they end up working together it's really good um oh god is this the oh god is this yes this? that one Eight notes. god it's just like him just sitting down that's such a good cover it's him i know i know <laughs> oh yes, it says Bizna, Bizna Red. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Nice. Yeah, I have a little. Are you, you gonna read it, it out loud? <laughs> you read it 19 days ago. That's so near. I know. You did a big ass paragraph. This is I know. Favorite of 2021. <laughs> yeah. We love it. And I need to stop throwing that around. I feel like I said that to two other books. <laughs> You literally did it on the 10th of January. We have like 11 more months to go. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm calling it now, guys. I'm calling it. Yeah, yeah. You're calling it. You're putting your carries in. You're putting your money on it. Oh, where yeah. do I even begin? <laughs> I don't know how different and similar the two leads were. While dealing with failing relationships, Reed became older and reserved. Charlotte became bolder <laughs> and wanted to live her life the way she wanted to. They so perfectly complimented one another and just to show how well, how, what, what? Just to show how love is but accepting each other flaws and all. I also, okay, I need to stop talking. <laughs> this is a good, this is a good um, review. I shall live vicariously through reading Charlotte. <laughs> oh, God, that's oh me God. in every book. Okay. Honestly, I... For me, if I really, I have to love a book a lot to write a review. If not, I just like leave my rating and move on. But I really yeah. loved it. So I was like, let me write a review. <laughs> I find it so strange though that people, some people recently have um, like followed my reviews. I'm like, do not follow my reviews on Goodreads. It makes no sense. You should not do that. I literally I know. Need sometimes. You were just reading it. I was like, long. did I just write that? Like, I swear I don't remember. <laughs> and I wrote that 19 days ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's close there. Oh. We love to yeah. Anyways, I think I think I might start start it. Okay, let's start the live again. I think I might end stop it. it now. Yeah, I might end it. Oh, now. This was so much fun, guys. Yeah, it was so great. We should do it more often, honestly. I'm so down. I'm so it's, down. It's so I read like a hundred pages. It's great. Mm -hmm. And bro, we're in lockdown. I have nothing to do. Let's do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, okay. We should do it. Well, we're doing one on Sun Anyways, which is gonna be so fucking exciting. Um, literally, there's so many, so many people, and I'm so excited. Yeah. Like this is all it's one of my goals for this year was to like make more friends, and I feel like this is going great. Oh my god, yes, and it's January, so we're like starting off, starting off, starting off. Perfect. I feel like I feel like there's going to be so many people and it's going to be so weird though because someone will be talking and then someone else will come in then someone else will come in and then it'll just sound like a big old like music festival or something I'll just bring mm -hmm. in a beat and there'll be people talking I'll just be there with the I don't know some beat and then I'll bring in some imaginary drums be like yeah let's go <laughs> let's go mm -hmm. and it's going to be in. beautiful chaos it's going to be great <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay anyways thank you for everyone who joined or who watched if anyone watched the whole time honestly love you. props to you three mm -hmm. hours 40 minutes god damn you're an honest uh, oh my god. Mm -hmm. thank you bismuth for coming on i had such a great time it was so fun Me too. and i'm glad you dnf that book it's really great yeah who knows i might read it in the future but most likely not it's really bad yeah. <laughs> Like it's, well, it's, like a, winter it's like a beautiful train wreck. <laughs> I get that. I get that. I get that. You know, like you know, like it's so bad, but you're looking at it, but you, you but you can't look away. Like you're looking and you want to look yeah. away, but you can't. It's like that. Yes. I feel like that. The first thing that popped into my head is like male strippers. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why. <laughs> you shouldn't. Look away, like you can't look away. But you, you want to look away, but you also can't because you're like, whoa, I've never seen yeah. this before. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow, magic lake, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna stop now. Thank you again for everyone coming, and thank you, Bismah, Bismah, Wash of Bismah <laughs> for joining. Had a great time. Okay, peace out. Have a great Bye. evening. Bye. Uh, night. Nice. <laughs>